Salyut 4, DOS 4 Russian, Salu -4, English translation, Salute 4 was a Salyut space station launched on December 26, 1974 into an orbit with an apogee of 355 km, a perigee of 343 km and an orbital inclination of 51.6 degrees. It was essentially a copy of the DOS 3 or Cosmos 557, and unlike its ill-fated sibling it was a complete success. Three crews attempted to make stays aboard Salyut 4, Soyuz 17 and Soyuz 18 docked, Soyuz 18A suffered a launch abort. The second stay was for 63 days duration, and an unmanned capsule, called Soyuz 20, remained docked to the station for three months, proving the system's long-term durability despite some deterioration of the environmental system during Soyuz 18's mission. Salyut 4 was deorbited February 2, 1977, and re-entered the Earth's atmosphere on February 3. Topic. Description Salyut 4 represented the second phase of DOS civilian space station. Although the basic design of Salyut 1 was retained, it switched to three large solar panels mounted on the forward module rather than its predecessor's four small panels on the docking module and engine compartment, presumably to generate more power. It had an interior floor area of 34.8 sq. The pitch of the station was 2x59n, yaw was 2x59n and roll was 2x20n. The electric system produced an average of 2.00 kW of power. It had 2,000 kg of scientific equipment alongside two sets of three solar panels each and was equipped with the Delta Navigation System which was a new autonomous navigation system that calculates orbital elements without assistance from ground. It was powered by KTDU-66 thrusters. Topic. Instrumentation Installed on the Salyut 4 were OST-1 orbiting solar telescope 25 cm solar telescope with a focal length of 2.5 m and spectrograph shortwave diffraction spectrometer for far ultraviolet emissions, designed at the Crimean Astrophysical Observatory, and two X-ray telescopes. One of the X-ray telescopes, often called the Filin telescope, consisted of four gas flow proportional counters, three of which had a total detection surface of 450 square centimeters in the energy range 2 to 10 keV, and one of which had an effective surface of 37 square centimeters for the range 0.2 to 2 keV, 32 to 320 AJ. The field of view was limited by a slit collimator to 3 in times 10 in full width at half maximum. The instrumentation also included optical sensors which were mounted on the outside of the station together with the X-ray detectors, and power supply and measurement units which were inside the station. Ground-based calibration of the detectors was considered along with in-flight operation in three modes, inertial orientation, orbital orientation, and survey. Data could be collected in four energy channels, 2 to 3.1 keV 320 to 497 AJ, 3.1 to 5.9 keV 497 to 945 AJ, 5.9 to 9.6 keV 945 to 1538 AJ, and 2 to 9.6 keV 320 to 1538 AJ in the larger detectors. The smaller detector had discriminator levels set at 0.2 keV 32 AJ, 0.55 keV 88 AJ, and 0.95 keV 152 AJ. Other instruments include a swivel chair for vestibular function tests, lower body negative pressure gear for cardiovascular studies, bicycle ergometer integrated physical trainer, electrically driven running track 1 meter by 0.3 meters with elastic cords providing 50 kg load, penguin suits and alternate athletic suit, sensors for temperature and character characteristics of upper atmosphere, its K-infrared telescope spectrometer and ultraviolet spectrometer for study of Earth's infrared radiation, multispectral Earth resources camera, cosmic ray detector, embryological studies, new engineering instruments tested for orientation of station by celestial objects and in darkness and a teletypewriter. Science Among others, observations of SCO X1, Circle X1, CYG X1, and a 0620 were published from the fill-in data. A highly variable low energy of 0.6 to 0.9 keV 96 to 144 AJ flux was detected in SCO X1. 
Circle X-1 was not detected at all during a July 5, 1975 observation, providing an upper limit on the emission of 3.5 times 10 to the minus 11 erg cm minus 2 s minus 1 35 fw per square meter in the 0.2 to 2.0 keV 32 to 320 aj range. CYG X-1 was observed on several occasions. Highly variable flux, in both the time and energy domains, was observed. Topic. Specifications Length 15.8 m Maximum diameter 4.15 m Habitable volume 90 cubic meters. Weight at launch 18,900 kg Launch vehicle, Proton three stage. Orbital inclination 51.6 degrees Area of solar arrays 60 square meters. Number of solar arrays 3 Electricity production 4 kW Resupply carriers, Soyuz Ferry Number of docking ports 1 Total manned missions 3 Total unmanned missions 1 Total long duration manned missions 2 Topic. Visiting spacecraft and crews Soyuz 17 January 11th to February 10th 1975 Alexei Gubarev Georgi Gretko Soyuz 18A April 5th 1975 launch abort Vasily Lazarev Oleg Makarov Soyuz 18 May 24th to July 26th 1975 Plotter Vitaly Sevastyanov Soyuz 20 November 17, 1975 to February 16, 1976. No crew. Topic: <laughs> Salyut 4 expeditions. Topic: <laughs> See also. Space Station for statistics of occupied space stations. Salyut TKS spacecraft Almaz Mir Skylab International Space Station